this tutorial uh, is to show you how to download the setup tool program called wireless.exe directly from the camera onto the SD card and then to save it to your PC and that's to program all the network parameters and your phone numbers and email parameters in order to have the images uh, and footage transmitted to you so this is your Spartan GoCam 4G from Camera Trap CC um, it can either take 4, 8 or 12 batteries just for downloading the setup program you, like, I've only put in 4 batteries here's your standard size SD card standard size SIM but you don't need to put the SIM in just simply put the SD card in and turn the unit to setup just wait for the logo to come and go push menu move across to the far wireless menu option scroll down until you find setup tool and push ok and then it says the setup tool has been downloaded to the SD card that's fine that's all it's done it's now on the SD card we'll go copy it across to the PC or laptop once you've connected your SD card to your PC or laptop it should pop up with your drive and you'll see it's the setup program is called wireless.exe uh, it's always a, a good idea to actually copy this directly to your computer so somewhere where it's very easy to to access for future so what I'll do is just create a folder here called Spartan 4G just for argument's sake and then uh, just put the program in there uh, I'm going to double click it now um, and open it up and basically this is what the program looks like the program is called wireless camera setup v version 3.6.1 brackets 2 and basically we'll start with this first box here send mode you you can either have it instant daily report or off off is the default selection obviously the it's going to save everything to the SD card and be used as a normal camera trap it's not going to transmit everything daily report will send you a SMS at a specific time that you choose and it'll tell you how many activations you've had per day uh, instant obviously is when it uh, sends everything via the cell phone networks immediately here you can actually limit the number of activations you would like per day uh, if you don't want to limit it you want it unlimited just put in a zero there uh, the next operation uh, the next window is operator parameter here with the cameras we've obviously specifically designed this this program with the manufacturers uh, for South Africa you can choose the major networks uh, for this demonstration I'm going to choose Vodacom uh, for the send via options you can do MMS or email MMS uses airtime and email uses data when sending via MMS uh, you can send it to phone or you can send it to email addresses uh, or you can send it to both to send to phone it's pretty simple you can put in your phone number is there uh, with no spaces and no country codes for argument's sake I'm gonna put in a number there and you can have up to four recipients or email addresses it's pretty simple you can also put in your email address there also up to four recipients the expensive option is sending via MMS to email it's usually double the cost of a normal MMS to phone the other option is to send via email to an email address which uses data it uses the GPRS network it logs onto the internet and for here you need sending email parameters as well as a receiving email address so here you can click email setting and if you have a Gmail address you simply do the drop down arrow you can put the gmail.com you put your Gmail address in there your password you retype your password and it's got the SMTP details for Gmail already programmed in you can have the camera actually send and receive to yourself what we're going to do is obviously have the receiving email address you put it in there too for argument's sake I'm going to put in there abc at gmail.com just make up a password one two three four five type it in again one two three four five click okay let's check that email address abc yeah please remember when using gmail that there are security 
account settings that you have to change on your Gmail account. You have to allow less secure apps access to your account. If you are looking for more reliable options in Gmail, please contact us and we can provide you with our email address uh, details which we've set up, uh, which is used purely as a sending gateway. It uses our locally hosted server and it's free and nobody's got access to it. So you're more than welcome to use that, which will replace these details here and then it'll still receive to you. The next window here is MMS with GPRS image quality or size. You can have it on normal, which is about 45 to 65 kilobytes or high, which is about 110, 120 kilobytes. Uh, the original size image obviously gets saved to the SD card. Name tag is, is very handy for this in the sense that you can type exactly a location for that camera for argument's sake. So front gate, this can also be changed on the camera itself. So whenever a picture comes through via MMS or email, that is pr printed on the photograph and it's also the subject title. So you know immediately when that notification comes through from which camera it's actually come through from. Uh, important thing to mention here as well is that if you're sending via email, the added benefit is that you can actually send short five or 10 second video clips as well. Via MMS, you cannot send video clips. That is just a, a, a network restriction in this country. As far as the last window is concerned here, SMS, these cameras are able to be controlled or programmed remotely by SMS commands. You can have the camera cons continually listening and, and, and waiting for your, your commands to come through. And in that sense, yes, it does use more battery, but it's not that much more. So if you want the camera always awake and listening to your commands, your power saving option must be no. So you don't want the camera to save power. You want it always awake and listening to your commands. SMS response, basically once you've sent the command to the camera to conduct a task, what it'll do is actually send you an SMS back. And to tick that, if you want that SMS back, tick status response, then it will do that. If you click yes for power saving, then it's not going to immediately act on your SMS command. What it'll do is will act on it, but once it's, it's activated by the PRR sensor and transmitted the picture, then it will only act on your SMS command. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it on no and click it on status response. At the bottom here, you have buttons, default, load, save, save as, cancel. What this program does, it creates a binary file with all these settings which you need to copy back onto the cam onto the SD card and then onto the camera trap. So you can either click save as and save it back to the SD card or you click save and what it'll do is create this file in the same location that you opened up the wireless.exe program from. So I'm going to click save and there immediately this file has been saved. So it says there save MMS CFG bin OK. So that's excellent. And there's the file there. Now this file, the mmscfg.bin file, needs to be copied back onto the SD card. And you can do that, you can do copy and paste, or you can just go send to USB drive. So we'll just double check that it is there. And there's the USB drive, and there it is file. So safely eject it, and we'll put it back in the camera trap now. And we'll see that these settings have been updated. Okay, we've just copied that MMS CFG file that bin onto this SD card, so we're going to put it back in the camera trap. And what you'll notice when we turn it to set up, you'll hear three beeps. And then you'll hear another two short beeps afterwards. Those two short beeps will indicate that the camera has been updated with the settings. So we'll just double check the settings have been updated. Go across to the wireless tab. And you can see immediately that it's now changed to send via email. Push OK. The Gmail settings that we've put in have all been successfully updated. Uh, if ever you want to change the email parameters, you can do it through the camera. And we'll just check the email address is there as well. We'll check that the phone number is, is also in there. There's the phone number as well. If you ever want to add numbers, you can. You push OK and you can simply type in a number there. Or if ever you want to um, add an email address, 
you can simply scroll down to one of the available options, push OK and type in an email address. As mentioned earlier, if you are looking for a better sending gateway or sending email parameters uh, that you've got the camera from, cam from us, from Camera Trap CC, please contact us and we'll provide them to you. They are free. A lot of clients use them. We have set it up and it uses our locally hosted server and it is a lot more reliable than, than Gmail. Thanks. Enjoy.